Hello and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who action figure review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the second Doctor and TARDIS collector set, which is one of the new sets featured in the 2020 B&M figure line. Before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to Character Options and Evolution PR for sending this to me to review. So the packaging for this particular set is the same as the last few B&M TARDIS sets. On the front we can see the current Doctor Who logo with the name of the set at the bottom, a circle that tells us what scale the figures are, and then a nice big window that continues onto the left hand side to give a nice look at the set inside. On the right hand side of the box we get a nice image of the set, along with the title at the bottom and a circle that tells us the TARDIS features opening doors. On the back we get the same information again along with a nice synopsis for the War Games which is of course the story this set is based on. The top offers the same information as the front and sides, while the bottom of the packaging tells us what the set contains, how to close the TARDIS doors, and all the necessary legal, contact and copyright information. Once you've taken the figure and TARDIS out of the box, you'll find a cardboard backdrop, which is something that's been featured on all the recent TARDIS releases, and this time it's a really lovely colour CGI render of the Sidrap Bay from the War Games. So I'll start by taking a look at the Doctor. This is the second Doctor, of course played by Patrick Troughton, and is based on his appearance in his final story. I think this is perhaps the best likeness we've had of the second Doctor, and that's down to the paint applications. All the facial features and hair are very crisp and in some ways more defined. As you can see, compared to the 11 Doctor set version, the new figure's lips have been given a sort of black line, which gives the impression of a shadow, and I like that a lot. Moving on to his torso, we can see that he's wearing his white shirt with a blue bow tie. On top of that, he wears his usual oversized coat, which has a very nice brown wash over the top to represent how the Doctor appears in the final episode of the War Games. It's a very nice touch that they didn't really need to include, but I'm quite glad they did because it gives that figure the extra bit of authenticity and it's a nice variant. Moving on to his trousers, we can see that they're the standard Czech trout and trousers, which have had the same brown wash added to them. A very nice detail to note with the trousers is that character have gone the extra mile and had a rip painted in them to match the Doctor's trousers in the episode. Then we have his shoes, which have been painted grey as opposed to the usual brown or black we usually see on second Doctor figures. As far as articulation goes, his head can turn from side to side, his arm can do a full 360 at the shoulder and bicep, bend at the elbow, and his hands can swivel but not all the way. He also has 360 degree waist and thigh articulation, his leg can kick forwards and out to the side, and also bend at the knee. Moving on to the TARDIS, we can see that it has a lot of similarities to previously released TARDISes, but also a few notable differences. The first thing to point out is that it uses the exact same mould as all other classic TARDISes, but includes the new flatter base which was introduced in last year's range. The colour of this box is one of its biggest differences, as it isn't really blue, it's more of a light grey, though there are flecks of blue mixed in if you look hard enough. We also get some new police box signage at the top. The front side is black text on a white background, which we have seen on other boxes before, but not in this font. Something to note is that the font that appears on the box is not the same font that appears on the back of the packaging. Moving from the front, the left, right and back sides of the box all feature white text on a black background in the same font as the signage we saw on the Sharda box last year. The pull to open door sign is also one that we've seen before, having been used on both the Peladon and Robot TARDISes. The TARDIS itself has been given a slight dirty wash, this is hard to see because of the colour the box is in the first place, but it's particularly noticeable on the windows and the signage. Now we'll take a look at the biggest and most anticipated feature of this TARDIS, and that's the brand new lamp, which is modelled on the square shaped lamps used throughout Troughton's era, and it looks really good. It's nice that character is starting to make small alterations to the TARDIS. We had the new base last year along with the Shard of Police siren lamp, and now we have another new one this year. Hopefully this means that we can see more alterations in the future. Overall, I think this is a really nice addition to the collection. We now finally have an accurate TARDIS for the second Doctor, and a figure to match the story it's taken from. Another big thanks to Character Options and Evolution PR for sending this so I could review it, and I'm really looking forward to getting the other five sets when they're available in July. Thank you for watching this review, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.